And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. So I thought I'd give you a, a quick plot twist, and it's just an opinion. It's not fact. And uh, if you'll take a look here real quick, go ahead and look at Jack's face. All right, you see that? Now look at his face. There is an uncanny resemblance. Only Jack's is more childlike than, uh, than Arthur's face, and that's because he's a boy. Now, if you know anything about genetics, you, you understand two things, especially with the storyline, and that is that... Jack's hair darkens to his mother's color of hair when he uh, when he gets older, and everybody thinks, well, it's because, you know, John Marston is his father. But if you know genetics like I do in the passing on of traits and mutations, my father, God rest his soul, when he was a child, had fire, fire red hair. And uh, I actually got to see a picture of him, but when he turned around 18 or 19, his hair had actually darkened from fire red to black. And uh, my hair actually darkened from fire red when I was a child to the uh, more auburnish color you could see today in my hair. But I, uh, I was a ginger baby. My father was a ginger baby. So it makes sense that his hair color mutated when he was, well, as a child from, to, from an adult, or as a child to an adult, I'm sorry. And uh, it darkened, but his hair color looks like Arthur Morgan's and he has a childlike face. That's uncannily resembling Arthur Morgan. I think, personally, John Marston is not the father. Once again, I think, plot twist, Arthur Morgan's actually the father. Because you can tell in the storyline that Arthur Morgan deeply cares for Abigail. And that Abigail has uh, deeper feelings for Arthur Morgan. You can't really see it in the way she talks to him. She walks around a little pissy a lot, but, eh, can't help it. It is what it is. That being said, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening, listening to my opinion. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.